That's how I feel. Well, we're in Glen Arm and um, we're sitting out a bit of a breeze. Um, it's supposed to be 4 7 today. Now, to be fair, the water out here doesn't look too bad. Way over out there in the distance, there's white caps, but in the bay here, it's quite sheltered. Um, but the problem is going round the corner for the North Channel. Um, the water up there is troubled at the best of times, and in a wind like this, it's going to be absolutely lethal. So, whilst we probably could see a light here, um, the gusts wouldn't make it particularly pleasant, and the North Channel would be particularly unpleasant. So, we're not going anywhere near the place today. So, we're in Glenarm Marina, and I don't know if you can see Salty last time behind me, but we're all snugged in and um, it's all very very nice and we've got some fantastic wind patterns as the wind rushes out to sea <laughs> there are dust devils in the car park you know we've got everything going here so it's going to be stay in relax have a nice time wait for the weather to pass and hopefully the seas will be calmed down and we can leave probably tomorrow but for today it's a relaxing day in for us too subscribers uh, said just what is it that you are making <laughs> well some time ago I made uh, prudence some fish so of course Ellie wanted some grass so <laughs> I have made her some grass and um, it actually has her name in it as well. It was the silliest thing I've ever made in my life, but what the heck. One of our little strange inventions is bacon pita bread. I mean, normally you eat these things with curries, but we use them as bacon sandwiches. Just happened what if well it's just the season is what the season is i mean say so we're in um, uk waters and I, there's just a whole range of storms coming in um and you've just got to be realistic i'd wanted to go off and do various things but it's very much like last year uh, when we were in hollyhead you get to a stage in the season and you've only got one tide to work with the daylight starts coming down you just don't have options is it fair to say this was a split decision yeah i wanted to carry on going north uh beverly wanted to go back to the marina um but if we do go north we're gonna have week another week and a half of storms coming through and do you really want to be in the in the north coast it's a bit like when we were on an island last year you know carrying on down south you know that was what we wanted to do but did we really want to be on the south coast with storm after storm after storm coming through and that's what it's going to be like now so we do know of another youtuber that got stuck down there for six weeks yeah i do um so you know although my heart wants to go off my head is saying, no, you've got to be realistic. Um, the seasons here are what they are. So we'll probably clock on another 100 nautical miles in this little trip. 
So I'm just going to have to get my miles some other way because where there's a will, there is a way. Yep, and we're also past the equinox, so the days are now shorter than the nights and getting shorter every day. Yeah, that's why you only got one tide to play with, really. Like, um, if we went north today, we'd be getting in with at the dangerous part at um, twilight. Do you really want to go round Fairhead at twilight? Mm, no, not really. So that means you'd have to wait four days. Or leave early. No, for, leave, wait four days so that you'd actually be... Yeah, but your other option is to leave early today. Yeah, whatever. So mm -hmm. we're going to go now. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go south. So, coming into Glenarm, there's certainly a lot to dodge with the uh, fish farms. Um, you can also see quite a few boys there, uh, of which some of them are submerged. So, um, quite tricky. And then here we have another line of boys, as you can see. So you've got three boys there in the water, which um, shows the outer markers of the fish farm. Then you've got your markers, and if that is a green cone, it's seriously um, lost its, it's colour. Yeah. Some cracking scenery, though. Well, I think this is time for the preventer, if I was to be honest. Well, we're um, leaving Glenarm in what is supposed to be the last of the good weather for the rest of the week. Um, it's supposed to get a lot blowier and a lot wetter and a lot windier in the, over the next few days. Uh, the wind at the minute is so light that we have got to put our jive preventer on to um, stop, make sure the boom doesn't swing across. It's just the sea's rolly. We're not in any danger of doing a jive because the wind is from that direction. But we just don't want the boom rolling across the cockpit because it is bouncy. So we have got the engine on, we have got the main sail up, making some wind as we push forward and uh, we've got the current assisting us, we're doing about five and a half, six knots. So with a bit of luck we'll be um, at the entrance to Belfast Lock in about three hours and um, that'll just take us to the last of the tide Then we'll just run in and do our best with it. So it looks like the weather has beaten us. Um, it's just some... Yeah, we left. We just left it a bit late to, to try coming north. I mean, chances are we'd wind up on the north coast, stuck there for a week or two with bad weather, and there's no point. in going to sit in the marina. Might as well sit in the marina and pay for it, rather than one I'm having to pay for, as well. Yeah. So it's back to Carrick, and um, we're just going to have to do the miles another way. We'll have to do our wind. We'll have to do our mileage that we want to do and our exercises over the winter. Hopefully it will not be like last winter where we had storm after storm, one storm per week. Hopefully we'll get some decent sailing in. Fingers crossed. But 2020 has not been the best of sailing seasons. It's been a weird year. Like For all sorts know. of reasons. Exactly. It's just been weird, but we just have to live with it like everything else. It is what it is. I'm totally depressed. Not only am I going south when I wanted to go north, um, the engine's on. Why should this be on? I don't like the engine on because there's no damn wind. <sighs> oh, geez, the wind has dropped to 6.4, and uh, Salty Lass needs more wind than that to sail so I've got the engine on and that always I mean so the engine on always depresses me anyway because it's not much fun it's just, you know I put the autopilot on and that's it really it's just yeah. that's how I feel yeah.
well even on a motor passage Beverly and I always find something to do because uh, what we're discussing at the moment is um, clouds and cloud patterns uh, because we need to get better at being able to read the sky so we've got some cracking mare's tails um, at the moment um, which is very high altitude cloud and that basically um, the little thing that Beverly um, um, remembers it by is mare's tails stormy sails so you've got the mare's tails indicating you've got um, front approaching. Uh, a front approaching um, also um, we've got um, the cumulus clouds um, over the land now in the olden days um, old sailors would look for these particular clouds because they only form over land because what you need is the updraft from the land so over at um, um, the islands over there uh, we've got quite a few and they're going out to sea so you would be able to see uh, those clouds um, much very long time before you see the uh, land um, you can see more land like um, over at the Firth of Cloud Clyde Clyde sorry the Firth of Clyde because of the clouds but you can't really see in the photograph so not so great there but I can see the clouds therefore I know there's land you know so you've just got to try and learn something while you the clouds over Belfast are showing a lot of turbulence and updraft activity so it means that the air has a lot of energy in it which means that yeah. it's probably going to go blowy or rainy mm. so it's just even thundering. Whoa. But the thing is it's just sort of like looking at the sky and trying to read it because I'm not doing too badly on reading the sea but I'm absolutely rubbish at reading the sky <laughs> quite a success sort of like we've achieved etc but you know what we did a hell of a great sales going north and we actually did a very good motor sale coming south this is a let's <laughs> just enjoy ourselves kind of dinner it's a victory dinner I just don't know what we've got at victory <laughs> oh and there is there is by the way a token salad Oh yeah, we got salad, but look at those mushrooms. There's a ton of underneath that is a steak somewhere. Oh yeah. Yeah. As Bev says, underneath that there is a steak somewhere, and I have to tell you, Beverly does fantastic steaks. Especially medium she rare. Is. She has got the medium rare absolutely perfect. So I might do a blog we might do a blog on that, even though quite frankly, steak is quite easy. But a lot of people mess it up. That's it. Good night, folks. <laughs>